guys Merry Christmas welcome to back to our roots homestead so this edition is gonna be a little different this is going to be a Christmas dinner menu collab that our friends Kenny and Angie over at abundant acres homestead um, wanted us to be a part of so Kenny picked Chris to show him or show all of you guys what's on his dinner menu so Chris decided to do a brisket and a turkey so if you're interested and you want to see how it turned out, come on back. Used to the city, now we got our own land. Life's getting real busy, busy. None of it was ever planned. Got the crib looking pretty, pretty. With a garden full of plants, plants. And we built our own committee, yeah. From the bottom we advanced, yeah. Back to our roots, roots. Now we get back to our roots, yeah. Put on your boots, put them on. It's time to go take off your suit. Back to our roots, yeah, now we get back to our roots, yeah Put on your boots, it's time to farm with Cheryl Swoops Right now, right now, yeah, yeah, right now, right now Alright guys, I'm in the kitchen here I'm about to make a brine for my turkey um, For the challenge, I'm going to be doing a smoked turkey for Team Kenny Over there at Abundant Acres of Homestead um, I'm also going to smoke a brisket, but uh, this one will be for the turkey so I'm going to get a brine done. Uh, I'll let it sit in that brine until uh, Saturday morning, uh, Christmas morning. And then I'll put it on um, and I'll smoke it um, for a few hours on on Saturday. Um, we have a, a brine here. Normally I make my own brine, but we've been moving around and I don't have a lot of the seasoning. So my wife saw a brine in the store. I told her to just get it. We'll try that this year. We have liquid smoke. We have uh, some peppercorns. We have apple juice, we have uh, some meat tenderizer, we have some sage and rosemary from the garden, and I'll probably cut uh, uh, orange or something and put in there also. But I'm going to get this brine in today. This will sit until Saturday, and I'll be back then to smoke it. All right, Kenny. All right, what's going on, everybody? So, um, Abundant Acres. Angie and Kenny are doing their Christmas dinner menu or like what's your favorite Christmas dish well Chris typically does the meats and I do the sides so since Kenny since Chris is on Kenny's team we're going to show you the brisket and the turkey so this is the brisket that um Chris I guess he says he's and Kenny was famous smart. He, for. He, he he picked a better player here. You think? <laughs> you think? Well, Angie, I know you didn't um, put me on your team, but I'm all right. You know that just kind of that just motivates me whenever <laughs> I get left off of a team. Um, anyway, first of all, guys, we do appreciate you um, thinking about us and allowing us to be a part of this. Really excited about it. But Kenny. This is Chris's brisket. You want to talk about it at all? Yeah, I trimmed it last night. Today is new Christmas Eve. So I trimmed this last night. I've had it and I let it sit out for a while. And then I put it in the icebox. And so now I'm going to uh, put it on the smoker. And it's going to be a long cook pretty much all day. Anywhere between 12 and 16 hours. So I'll be smoking this today. And then I'll do the turkey tomorrow because it's uh, it uh, only takes about 3 or 4 hours. So... I'm gonna get this on. I'll show you me putting it in the uh, in the smoker, and then later on we'll wrap it and finish it out. And we'll do the turkey tomorrow. All right, guys, we're out at the smoker. Um, I've got it set. I'm I'm gonna probably cook it for the first eight hours at about 195 to 200. Um, this is a pellet smoker, just so it get enough smoke in it, and then the last anywhere from five to eight hours I'll cook it uh, at about 250 so we're gonna get this on get it in okay. and as you can see it's smoking like a broke stove yes and it smells good <laughs> so I don't gonna, do this y'all <laughs> so we'll get this in I'll get a, a probe in it so I can keep up with the temperature and we'll see y'all when it's time to wrap all right guys um, the brisket's been on about seven hours I'm going to go ahead and pull it. Um, we got to take it up in, in the house and wrap it, get it wrapped. As you can see, it's getting a nice bark on it. Um, it's looking really good. So we'll get this out 
Um, it has an internal temperature of 153 degrees, which is perfect. We'll wrap this and we'll let it smoke uh, for about seven or eight more hours. So we'll see you inside. All right, guys, um, here's the brisket as you can see. Uh, we have it on butcher paper. We're gonna get this wrapped up and then we'll get it back into the smoker for about eight more hours. So um, it has a nice little bark on it. It's, uh, it's looking good. So um, we'll get this wrapped up and get it back on the smoker. <laughs> All right, guys, we got the brisket wrap and the butcher paper. I'm gonna take my probe now and um, stick it into the, uh, to the brisket, into the front, to the flat. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a temperature. I want a temperature of about 200 to 205. So it's at about 153, 154 right now. And we'll let this cook for, like I said, about six or seven more hours. And then we'll put it in a cooler, let it rest, and it'll be ready in the morning. All right, guys, it's about 5.30 in the morning. And I'm coming out to get the brisket. Uh, as you can see here, we have an internal temp of about 206. So this brisket's ready. I'll be uh, taking it out. I'll be putting it in here and it'll be resting until we're ready to eat it later on. But usually I'll let it rest three to four hours. So as you can see, it's about ready. So get it in the cooler, we'll let it rest and we're ready to cut it. We'll come back and show you guys. Alright guys, I just took my turkey out of the brine. I'm going to wash this turkey off, um, dry it off a little bit, and set it in the refrigerator so that it'll get fully dry. And at that point, it'll be time to season it, inject it, and get it in the smoker. But the brine has worked, as you can see the color on it. So it got a nice brine. All right, guys, now I'm about to inject this turkey. I'm gonna be using the Tony Saturi injection. Um, once I inject it, then I'll be putting in some rosemary, some thyme, um, some sage from our garden, some apples, some garlic cloves, onions, and uh, a little butter on the inside. And then I will baste it with butter, and then I will season it, and then it'll go into the smoker. So we're gonna get this um, injected, and I'll be right back. <laughs> Alright guys, as you can see, you have the inside stuffed, so the next thing is to um, put butter all over the turkey. I'm going to melt some butter and, and paint it all over the turkey, and then put the seasoning on, and then it's ready for the smoker. Sure, I'll clean the whole sink full of those back to our roots greens. Man, it's going to be so good. Alright guys, I got the turkey in the smoker. I'll be coming out every hour mopping it with butter um, until it gets to about 165 is what the in internal temp is what you want it at. But I'll be coming out um, mopping it probably every hour. I would think it probably take three or four hours to cook it. So we'll be coming back and forth getting it ready. But it's in and it's smoking. All right, guys, I just did my first basting. Um, the turkey's turning brown, so it's doing exactly what I wanted to do. I got a couple more hours cooking, but it's coming along pretty good. All right, guys, we got our brisket here, and we got our turkey. I'm very happy with both of them. Got a nice bark on my brisket. Got a nice color on the turkey. So I'm done. Been cooking for two days, but it's all worth it for my family. And great time of year. Merry Christmas to everybody. Baby, you got something to say? Merry Christmas! <laughs> and thanks to uh, Abundant Acres Homestead for inviting us to the um, a dinner, a Christmas dinner collab. You guys are great. We love your channel. And, we'll and I'm hungry. <laughs> we'll continue to support you guys and I hope you continue to support us. 
All right, guys. We're gonna get in here and make some plates. Great smoke ring. Everything came out great. The flat is really good. And we got the point there. We'll make some burn ins with it. But for the most part, everything came out really good. All right, guys. I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. Back to our roots, back to our roots. Back to our roots, back to our roots.